Hi. Welcome. Welcome. Hi. Oh, it's so wonderful to see you. Thank you for being here just a minute early. Welcome back to our Compassion Sangha. And Hello, Elizabeth. Hi. Um, let's maybe do our wonderful smile and wave at each other if you want to turn on your cameras. Hi. Maybe send like a may you be happy wish to whoever you see. I know some of you are just joining. Oh, it's so good to see you. Wonderful. Wonderful. So if you're not on mute, go ahead and put yourself on mute. And um, just so there's less noise, I know there might be background noise from my end because I'm in Manhattan, but if you can, and we'll get started. I have something very important to tell you because this is a meditation class first and foremost. I want you to try this time to really meditate with pleasure, just to really enjoy connecting to the breath, enjoy this idea of connecting to all beings. Like you'd bite into delicious food, like you had an, a chocolate ice cream cone, you get to bite into it. Try to do the meditation with that same attitude. And I think that's when you get the most out of your practice. And just really to, to be honest about it, to think it's such a treat to get to meditate, that you get to do this, you don't need to do this, but you get to do this. And maybe you've been waiting 20 reincarnations to finally get to do this practice and now you're doing it now, who knows? It's possible. So just for a moment, let's see if we can try this out. Just close your eyes and feel the breath. And feel the breath like you'd bite into sweet fruit. Feel the breath fully and feel the joy of connection. Notice the breath with your full awareness like you're in a thing of beauty. And when you're ready, opening your eyes. And that was just a little try. We'll keep doing this, but maybe in the chat, how was that? Were you able to find that joy, that connection, that sweetness, that pleasure? Because it is such a pleasurable practice. I think it's good to think of it as such a pleasurable practice. If you want to put anything in the chat, it's like our little discussion box. Good, you like the idea. Okay, good. Thank you, Elizabeth Ferry. We will have more time to get into that today because I think it's so pleasurable to send compassion to all beings and that there's such a pleasure there. So we'll, we'll, we'll keep doing this. Um, I never thought of this way before. Biting into something sweet. Yes, your practice, you get to bite into hard practices is, is pure sweetness. It's like all the sweetness that's there at your heart, you get to kind of bring it out. So hard practices are all sweetness anyway. Um, good, wonderful. I see that resonated with some of you. So we'll be doing meta practice today. Meta in Pali means friendliness or loving kindness. And a lot of studies have shown that this practice leads to more positive emotions. That's why I wanted to introduce it with pleasure. So we'll just spend a few minutes transitioning, relaxing. Let's take those four, seven, eight breaths. So inhaling for one, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven and exhaling through your mouth for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we'll do that two more times, two more deep breaths. Inhaling for one, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, Seven and exhaling through the mouth for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One last time, inhaling for one, 
two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and exhale through the mouth for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now find your most comfortable seat. Make sure you're leaning back against something. Let your back feel supported. And as much as you can, sitting as an act of self-friendliness. And we'll do the first meditation, which will mostly be a relaxation of mindfulness meditation again. Oftentimes, the affection, the sweetness, the loving kindness, it's there in the heart. We just need to release first. You already have a loving heart. Sometimes you just need to relax a little bit and this loving heart fully comes forward. So we'll try that. So as you close your eyes, turning your gaze inward, feeling into the stillness of the body. Let your forehead relax. Soften your eyebrows. Soften the space between your eyebrows. Imagine releasing your jaw. Relax the cheeks. Nothing to do, nothing to express right now. Letting the face be soft. Imagine relaxing the skin on the face. Meeting your entire face with kindness and friendliness. Release the throat. Release the neck. For a moment, feel the breath in the throat. Just noticing the breath passing through. Like a dear friend passing through. Release your shoulders, your left shoulder and your right shoulder. No need to carry any weight there. Relax your collarbones, bathing your body in this attention. Relax the chest. And notice the chest move with the breath. Just tune in to this gentle movement up and down. Noticing this breath more fully with every moment, this gentle movement. Release both arms, relax both hands. Feel all the sensations right at your fingertips. And release the rib cage, the sweetness of relaxation. Soften the belly, and can you feel the breath move through the belly? Release the hips. 
Relax the left leg and the right leg. Feel the feet, let the feet relax. And for a moment, just feel your whole body inside and out. And can you bathe your whole body in the warmth, in the sweetness of your awareness? And from this place now that's embodied, that's grounded, let's send out some loving kindness. See if it's true for you that when the body and mind settle, the heart opens up. Sending the wish, may all beings all over the world be safe and protected. Half the world is asleep now. May all those who are now sleeping be safe and protected. May all the beings who are now awake, may they be safe and protected, free from harm. And for a moment, imagining all the beings who are meditating right now, May all the people meditating right now be safe and protected. And sending the wish, may all beings everywhere be happy and free. May all life be well. and resting in this idea that you just sent wishes to the entire world. And thank yourself for allowing yourself to access this relaxation, this release, and for having done this practice today. Welcome back, and I'd love to hear how that went. We usually do one very short practice, and then one medium practice, and another medium practice. So we usually meditate a few times throughout the 25 minutes together. How was this meditation? Usually when there's stillness, the fondness, the affection, the warmth opens up. That's why the mindfulness and the compassion are so related. It's really one practice. Good, calm, cozy, relaxing, good. And much better than expected, that's good. Um, all the tension is gone from my body. I feel like pudding, good, more sweetness, pudding. <laughs> um, relaxing, aware of how the tense my face was. It's amazing how much tension we carry, good. So in our second practice, we'll keep doing the loving kindness, we'll keep doing the metta. And to set the tone, I want to read you an excerpt from the Metta Sutra. This is classic part of the Buddhist canon written in Pali. It's actually attributed to the Siddhartha, the historical Buddha. And this text is 2,500 years old. And it captures this heart of the Metta practice that we're doing today. And to me, the scripture really reads like poetry. Um, last week we read Emily Dickinson. I think along those lines, in some ways, it's still poetry. So this is the Metta Sutra. May all beings be happy and at ease. May they have peace in their mind. Whatever living beings there are in this world, feeble or strong, short, small or large, tall, slender, plump or medium, seen or unseen, ghosts or gods are the beings in hell those dwelling near or those dwelling far, those who are born or those who now still await rebirth. May all those beings be happy in their hearts. 
Let none despise one another. Let none deceive one another or have anger or ill will. Let them not wish suffering to each other and let them not suffer. Let them be happy. Let them cultivate a boundless heart towards all beings. Let thoughts of boundless loving kindness pervade the whole world above, below, across, without bounds. So that's um, Metta Sutra, classic Buddhist scripture. So when my students come to me and they say, well, what we're doing, is this really Buddhism? Is this the heart of Buddhism? It really is. This practice is absolutely the heart of Buddhism. This is exactly the kind of practice that we're doing together that we'll be doing more of today. And it's at least 2,500 years old. And it's absolutely boundless. I think it's complete equanimity, joy, loving heart. So along those lines, are we ready for another meta meditation? So let's take some inspiration from the scripture and find your comfortable seat again. Sit with joy, sit with pleasure, sit because you get to do this. And begin to find your own point of stillness. Maybe put one hand inside the other in a traditional meditation posture on your lap. Gently closing the eyes. And for a moment, make contact with your breath. Feel the pleasure, the treat of your breath, like you're biting into a sweet caramel. Find your breath. And let's stay with the breath together for one minute. Every time your mind wanders, just bring your mind back to the breath, back to the sweetness of awareness of your breath. feeling into those sensations more fully with every moment. When the mind wanders, just rejoining the breath, becoming aware again and again of the pleasure of the breath. And now bring to mind the most beautiful place that you can imagine. Imagine the kind of place where you would feel joy, peace, relaxation. Picture that place that would be so pleasurable, so nourishing for you and imagine that you are there. Maybe you're lying on the sand near the beach. Maybe you're sitting among the branches of a beautiful tree or in the middle of a pine forest. Whatever that place is for you, enjoying being there in every sensory detail. Just let yourself rest, relax. Listen to the sounds this place has to offer. And in this place, it's easier to open the heart. So as you sit there, 
place both hands on your own heart. And letting the heart open to itself. Wishing for yourself for just another being on this earth. Saying for yourself, may I be safe. May I be protected and keep myself protected. Feeling this warmth of the heart and this warmth of your hand and wish for yourself. And may I experience the ease of well-being. May I feel peace and joy. May I surround myself with beauty, inner and outer. And may I give myself the gift of sweetness, of awareness. And maybe feel into this heart one more time with the hand and you can release your hand back down. But hold your heart in your mind's eye and imagine you could breathe in and out of the heart. Staying with this image for a few moments of the breath coming into the heart, lungs, and chest. and coming right out of the chest, lungs, and heart. And first we'll be extending loving kindness to the person who is easiest for you to send compassion to. Bringing to mind that child or that pet or that friend, someone who you really want to be happy. Bring to mind a person who brings you joy and offer this person the wish. May you be safe. May you be protected. May you feel ease. May you be free of inner and outer harm and feel peace and feel joy. Feeling that affection in your own heart and that kind intention. And now see if you can bring to mind a stranger, someone you don't know well. And acknowledging that this person too wants to be happy, wants to be free from suffering. And sending the stranger the wish, may you be safe just another human being like me, like my loved one, this stranger. May you be safe and protected. May you experience ease of well-being. May you too be free of inner and outer harm. And may you feel peace and joy. And noticing how that feels.
And now imagine all the beings, all the people within a one block radius of you right now. Family or friends or pets, strangers and neighbors. Imagine everyone within a block. Insects. Sending the wish to all those beings. May you be safe and protected. You also. May you be safe and protected. May you feel ease, well-being. May you be out of harm's way. And may you feel peace and joy. And feeling the joy of the wish of joy. So many beings you sent the wish of joy to today. And finally, see if you can imagine all the people on this earth right now. In your mind's eye, you almost can't hold it at once, but imagine all the beings, young and old, near and far, each with their own struggle, each being with their own story, their own journey, their own inner voice. Can you wish for all of these people on this earth, all these loved ones, all these strangers, may you be safe and protected. May every being be happy. May every being be healthy. May we all experience ease of well being. Know that as you're sending this wish out to countless other beings, you're also receiving it in this moment from many other beings to you. And as we bring this meditation to a close, can you keep this loving quality of attention to the present moment, to every being you encounter, and to yourself, bringing this compassion, this joy, this wish of joy, to whatever you do. Opening your ears to sounds. So one way of translating the Pali and Sanskrit word for meditation is remembering who you really are, remembering who I really am. And I think this being that wishes others joy, that connects, that finds the sweetness, and that's who we really are. It's like we're kind of retuning ourselves back to our hearts, our minds. So we tune the instrument a bit tonight for the week. Um, I've been so good about ending right at 825 or 826 and not later. And I apologize, this meta meditation had its own rhythm and went longer. But see if you can keep offering this compassion. Whenever you think of something, whenever you think of a place, oh, and may all beings there be happy. If you think of a lake, may all, all the creatures in this lake be happy. When you look, like if I look out my window, I see traffic outside. May all the people in those cars, may they be at ease. And immediately you connect. Oh, I see in the chats that worth the extra minute. I'm glad. That was delicious. Feel connected. Sweet meta calories. The best kind of calories. Um, I think when we eat sometimes sugar, what we really want is connection. And so this is a way to get to that. Um, what we want is to feel connected and to feel the sweetness. And it's nice when meta can do that. So thank you. I really appreciate what we did today. I have all kinds of other ideas of what this group, the Sangha can do and how we can keep connecting. I think I'll tell you next time. 
because um, I realize it's 829 already. But my wish for you is may you be happy. If you want to leave one last wish in the chat for all beings or for everyone here, please do leave something sweet for everyone and I'll read them aloud. May we connect to flowers and trees. Thank you all. Wish everybody happiness. May you be connected, may you be healthy, may you be well, have a beautiful night. Thank you so much. And um, I hope I'll see you next week. We'll do more self-compassion, more of a self-compassion practice next week. Releasing oneself from blame will be, we'll, we'll do that. But all kinds of variations, but really the same thing, the same heart of it, the same essence. Loving kindness, peace and really the true nature of the heart. So may you be well. Thank you for your wonderful wishes. Um, and I hope to see you next Wednesday. You can do our wave goodbye. Bye to your beautiful beings. May you be well. And I hope we reunite soon. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you. If you want to turn your mic on, you can. Thank Bye. you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good night, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for your beautiful smile. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye, Jane. Bye, Candida. Bye, Rochelle. Bye, Rory. Bye, Bye, Dita.